This is an experiment which allows us to measure the absolute zero of temperature. To do so, we bring a fixed volume of gas into thermal contact with uh, liquids at three different temperatures. That is water at its triple point, water when it's boiling, and liquid nitrogen. In the first step, we measure the pressure in the volume at a temperature of zero degrees C that is realized by ice melting in water. The pressure sensor connected to the container reads 71.4 hectopascal in, these, in this case. We can record that temperature on a chart on a degrees uh, Celsius scale and we mark a point with that pressure about 72 hectopascal on this chart. In a second step of the experiment, we bring the same gas container connected to the pressure sensor into boiling water. This boiling water has about a temperature of 98 degrees C. When one immerses the container into that boiling water, the pressure inside the container will rise and we'll take note of that uh, by reading out the pressure sensor. And you do see that the recorded pressure increases. While the gas container thermalizes with the 98 degree C hot water, the pressure rises. We've sped up the video here by a factor of four to get quicker to the result. So here we see that the pressure is now 97.8 hectopascal. So this pressure we can again record in our chart at the temperature of 100 degrees C. And now we find a higher pressure inside our enclosed gas container. In a final step, we move the same gas container into a volume of liquid nitrogen. That volume of liquid nitrogen has a temperature of minus 195 degrees C. When we immerse that container, it will take a moment uh, for it to thermalize both the container and the gas inside the container. And then we will read a third pressure reading. And now as the container cools down and the gas inside it uh, cools down with it, we see the pressure drop rapidly. And this pressure drop in this video is again accelerated, um, this time by a factor of eight because it takes a while for the gas and the container to cool down. So after about two minutes or so, the gas has equilibrated with the liquid nitrogen uh, in its surroundings. And we read a final pressure in the container of about 19 hectopascal. And that gives us a third point for our plot in which we um, plot the pressure in the container versus the temperature of the surrounding environment. Now we can connect these three points yeah, and extrapolate them to zero. And what we find is that as the pressure approaches zero, we'll reach a zero in temperature. And that zero in temperature can be read off on this chart. And so this is one of the ways using a gas thermometer to get an idea about the absolute zero of temperature.